The topic today is the renin angiotensin aldosterone system and drugs that inhibit this system called RAS inhibitors. The renin angiotensin aldosterone system, abbreviated RAS, is made up of proteins, enzymes, and hormones that regulate blood pressure in the long term. RAS is an example of a negative feedback system in the body that increases blood pressure when it's too low or that decreases blood pressure when it's too high. Renin is an enzyme released from the juxtaglomerular cells of the kidneys that will lead to an increase in blood pressure. Three main things will cause renin to be released. Renin is released when juxtaglomerular cells sense a reduced stretch of the afferent arterial due to low blood pressure or when macula densa cells of the DCT sense low levels of sodium ions in the filtrate. Also a decrease in blood pressure sensed by baroreceptors in the aortic arch or carotid sinus leads to an increase in sympathetic output to beta receptors on juxtaglomerular cells increasing renin release. After the enzyme renin is released from the kidney, it enters the blood and cleaves angiotensinogen made by the liver to yield angiotensin 1. The enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme, abbreviated ACE, in the capillaries of the lungs and other capillaries, converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. ACE also breaks down a peptide called bradykinin that causes vasodilation, endothelial retraction, and a dry cough. The protein angiotensin II acts to increase blood pressure by its receptor, which is the AT1 receptor. It does, does this in several ways, including causing vasoconstriction, which increases systemic vascular resistance, and therefore blood pressure. It also increases di antidiuretic hormone, which causes the collecting duct of the kidney to retain more water in the blood, thus increasing blood volume and therefore blood pressure. Angiotensin II also causes an increased release of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex. Aldosterone causes the kidney to retain salt and water, which also increases blood volume and therefore blood pressure. Lastly, angiotensin II causes an increase in thirst and salt appetite, which also increases blood volume and therefore blood pressure. Do you see how all four actions of angiotensin II act to increase blood pressure? The therapeutic effects of RAS inhibitor treatment will decrease the production or act actions of angiotensin II. These actions will cause less vasoconstriction, less aldosterone, less ADH, and less salt and thirst appetite. Due to these actions to lower blood pressure and blood volume, RAS inhibitors are very important drugs used in the treatment of hypertension and heart failure. RAS inhibitor classes include ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and renin inhibitors. All of the generic names of ACE inhibitors end in PRIL. There are many examples, but notice that they all end in PRIL. The ACE inhibitor drugs originally came from the venom of a pet viper. Adverse drug reactions, or ADRs, for ACE inhibitors include hyperkalemia, due to their action to lower aldosterone. Recall that aldosterone causes potassium secretion, which lowers potassium in the blood. With ACE inhibitor treatment, aldosterone levels are low, so it causes hyperkalemia, which is high potassium in the blood. The non-productive cough and angioedema are due to actions of bradykinin, Remember that the enzyme ACE breaks down bradykinin, so if you give an ACE inhibitor, bradykinin levels will rise. Generic names of angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs, end in sartan. There are many examples, and notice they all end in sartan. The AR in sartan stands for angiotensin receptor, and TAN is a rearrangement of the letters ANT referring to antagonist. 
The angiotensin II receptor is also called angiotensin II receptor type 1, or AT1. So ARBs can also be called AT1 receptor antagonists. ARBs have a similar side effect profile as ACE inhibitors, but since they don't increase bradykinin levels, they cause less cough and angioedema. Like ACE inhibitors, they can still cause hyperkalemia due to lowering aldosterone. Aliskyrin is a direct renin inhibitor and is used to treat hypertension. Aliskyrin may cause diarrhea, abdominal discomfort, headache, fatigue, and lightheadedness. ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and renin inhibitors are contraindicated in pregnancy due to their capacity to increase the risk for renal failure and congenital malformations, like cleft palate, in the developing fetus. They are also contraindicated in those with renal failure because angiotensin II causes the efferent arterial to constrict more than the afferent arterial. Since these medications lower or block angiotensin II production, they decrease GFR and lower blood flow to the kidney, making renal failure worse. To summarize, two conditions, low blood pressure and low sodium levels, lead to more renin being released from the kidney. In the blood, renin converts to angiotensinogen, made by the liver, to angiotensin 1. The enzyme, angiotensin-converting enzyme, abbreviated ACE, or ACE, in the capillaries of the lungs and other areas, converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 acts to increase blood pressure via its receptor, which is the AT1 receptor. It does this in several ways, including causing vasoconstriction, which increases systemic vascular resistance and therefore blood pressure. It also increases antidiuretic hormone, which causes the kidney to retain more water in the blood, thus increasing blood volume and therefore blood pressure. Angiotensin II also causes an increased release of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex. Aldosterone causes the kidney to retain salt and water, which also increases blood volume and therefore blood pressure. Lastly, angiotensin II causes increase in thirst and salt appetite, which also increases blood volume and therefore blood pressure. Do you see how all actions of angiotensin II act to increase blood pressure? The drug classes that act in the RAS pathways include ACE inhibitors that end in PRIL and renin inhibitors, as well as angiotensin receptor blockers or ARBs that block angiotensin II from binding to its AT1 receptor and end in sartan. All three of these drug classes are used to decrease blood pressure. Now for questions. Pause the video and think of your answers. The following are correct. Thanks for watching.